Alright, uh, fucking things. Alright, let's go. Right. Should I continue off of like what I was saying about Team Fortress, like the yeah, history, the gaming history let's know thing? Uh, or... hold on, let's hold on that for a moment. We got some fighting to do. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you can't, can't go over a valve. Ah, oh, shit! Like, like... Oh, we gotta hit off fucking high noon and shit. Let's go. I'd be one. Ah, oh, dare you? Oh, I'm gonna kick your ass with your friend's yeah. sword. Ha. I love this music actually. I remember as a kid. I, this I was, was just like, about to make a comment about it. It's epic. I like this it. This was too. like such a fun. Oh god, hi. Yeah. Damn it. I need I need to throw some Ah no! Don't hit me! Ow! Oh shit, you're playing a moblin. Oh, moblin. No. His name's Mo. I love your face in this one. You're so expressive. I love when you stab them in the butt, they go all hold on, let me see if I can try and do that. Ah! Oh god, that. I'm actually gonna die, holy shit! He's not gonna- he's not gonna let you. I need those hearts, Dude, man. they are fucking brutal in this game. I need those hearts- there we go, alright, let's go. Let's go. Ah! Come on. Okay, come on, dude, let me- let me- let me hit you, please. Let me hit you! God damn it! He's not gonna let you. God, let me fin- let me win! Okay, actually. There we go. That guy in the butt- yeah, let's go! Butt shot, let's go. You stabbed him right in the ass. Right- POW RIGHT IN THE KISHA! Alright, let's go. Medley, how did you get yourself into this mess? That's Fats. her name, her name's Medley. I always you came to rescue me. That. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. You see, Lord Valu, he's on his period, and there's a monster down there that's just making the period go on and on, and it's pretty bad. So we need to deal with that. I okay, see, like he's on his period. M fucking asshole. Something in there. Oh, are you gonna give me a kissy? Is she gonna give me a kissu? Probably. Bet she's gonna give me a kissu. I wonder if those main monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We gotta do something now before it's too late. I'll go tell everyone what's happening. Here, farts. Use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device. Okay. Just give me the fucking grappling hook, you bitch. <laughs> grappling hook! Yay! You can send it to X, Y, X, or R on the item screen. Here, farts, climb up on that little ledge over there so I can show you something. Just ignore. Fuck, I have wings. I fart. Alright, you can continue your story now. Oh, yeah, no. I, I mean, I was already at the end of it. So basically, what came of Half Life, not Half Life, what came of Team Fortress, the original, was that. And many people don't really know about the original Team Fortress. Many people more or less remember TF2 because, you know, that's the game that. the, the sequel that, you know, sort of. Everybody played due to the orange box, but what happened was, so the people that were fans of the original Quake wanted to make a basically a team-focused multiplayer deathmatch, or like to have like capture the flag. And what they decided to do was, um, they made a mod for it that was basically just that, it, like you know, it was similar to the original Team Fortress. And Valve, who took notice of the mod that these people, these fans made were so pleased by it that they actually flew them to where their headquarters were and they bought the rights. They were like, hey, can we have permission? Can we buy this idea off of you, like this mod? And they enhanced it into what eventually would be Team Fortress. So that's basically where it came from. That's so cool. And that makes sense because in TF2, you can actually buy the original design of the, the rocket launcher in the original Quake and it's called the original. So yeah, that, I, have, I have yeah. that weapon. I have that weapon. You can get it in Quake Champions too. Um, I didn't. I I have played a notor a lot of TF2, and I have a lot of the hats and items and shit. It's fun. I love it. And I have and the original in there. And and then the, the the orange box version of the game is like, you know what shit. I mean? Like he um, shit. Well, yeah, because like compared to like how it is on the PC with like the amount of freedom and like the amount of like cosmetic stuff you can get, it doesn't compare, but back then, that's all there was, you know? 
Like, uh, I know in the original, the Xbox version, which you can still play, by the way, apparently. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, for sure. It's very... Uh, you can't... You can rocket jump in it, but if I heard it's very... It's very hard. I've done that a couple of times. I do that more more in Quake than I do in, like... Um, uh, I've gotten like pretty good at rocket jumping TF2. in TF2. I'm not much of a TF2 player. I have a friend that's, like, really, really into it. And he has, like, a frying well, pan. Well, I have two friends around. that are really into it. Yeah. Think about, for, for those who don't know me, um, I'm a huge... I'm gonna get a tattoo of this one day. I'm a huge fan. Um, and it might be because I have a nostalgic connection to these games, because my brother played them, like, consistently. Um, I'm obviously a fan of Quake, but I'm also a huge fan of the Unreal, like, Unreal Engine, and, like, the Unreal tournament. Um, yeah, I've I know seen people... you streaming that on Discord before. Yeah, I, I love those games so much, and I could go back and play them, like, consistently. It's just... There are games that came out around a time of when it was just, you know, arena shooters. They were simple, like, you're thrown in, run and gun, that's all it is. Like, you just kill each other for about a minute or so. And there are games like Halo that still carry on that, like, legacy of that. But, like, stuff that's, like, highly competitive, like, like, uh, CSGO, you have stuff like Valorant or, you know, stuff like, um, PUBG, you know? Yeah. Oh, Fortnite. Shit. Shit. Fortnite, honestly, I don't think Fortnite's a very shitty game. I think it's very well. I think it's it's just the community and shit like that. But I think Fortnite, they it's cool how they they continue to make and add stuff to the game. It's popularity, and I find it really interesting how they've. It's like pop, Fortnite is pop culture at this point. Okay, in my opinion, it's not going anywhere. One of my friends asked me, "Do you think Fortnite's gonna die?" I'm like, "It would have died a long time ago if it was going to." I don't, I don't think it is anytime soon. Fortnite Among Us is slowly, I'm thinking that Among Us is growing a little bit stale. Not the game itself, I'm referring to like, oh, shit, wait. the community. Oh. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. What I mean is that like, if you look at how often, um, Among Us is mainly used to meme. It's not really like, you don't see people playing it as often. And I think the game is like, losing a little bit of popularity. Not that it, it doesn't mean it's place. bad. Yeah. There we go. I'm trying to think of the other, um, other the things, but yeah, no, no, I'm a huge. I played a lot of classic shooters, um, stuff that, like, if you were to go up to a kid that's playing Fortnite, they're gonna be like, what's that? Okay, uh, I did play the, I have played the original TF2, and I've played the original Half-Life as well. Back when, uh, Half-Life Alex oh, was yeah. coming out, they had all those games free to play. And, honestly, uh... TF2 is a, the original Team Fortress 2 is an artistic TF2, thing. Or just, yeah, just Team Fortress, yeah. Just Team Fortress. Just the Team original Fortress. Team Fortress, in my opinion, is, it has a, it's only for people with that kind of taste. I don't think it's very Oh, yeah, good. no, I mean, if you're going to play Team Fortress, play Team Fortress 2. It's just, it's a more, it's, it, 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 the game runs on the same engine as, you know, it's obviously the same engine, the same gameplay as it is in, Half-Life Source or Deathmatch, which is like the same thing, just without the team-focused gameplay and all that, but like, yeah, no. Yeah, you, and many that... people realize that if you go back and play the original Team Fortress, it looks incredibly different art style-wise with it, like, compared to Team yes, 2. Yes, it does. It looks more there's realistic. A reason, there, more there's a, um, what were you gonna say? My bad. It looks more realistic. It, it looks more like Half-Life, and the reason it because does. of that, the, the reason for that is because, um, in the original games, and in, in the original Team Fortress, it was really hard to really tell whose class was who. So, for example, if you're like looking Citizen. for a healer, you're like, who's who? Like, like who's the engineer? So what they did was they wanted to over-exaggerate the designs and the proportions and to make it look more cartoony so you can easily tell who's who. Like, whose class there are, you are, you know what I'm saying? To make it easily identifiable, identifiable like, oh, that's the medic, oh, that's the heavy, you know? Because yeah. in the original game, they all look the same, just with a slight difference. So it's kind of hard to tell, like, who was the healer. I enjoy just the amount. Like, TF2, and when I was a kid, the first, my first introduction to TF2 was the shorts. Okay, I, I think anyone can say yeah, that. 
the were shorts good. were our initial introduction to it, and they did such oh, a yeah. good job, all of them. I don't even care if like a few of them were a little bad at explaining characters. They were all great at explaining characters. They should have made a movie or adapted it into a movie. It looks like a Pixar movie. Oh, here's one thing. They the There were plans to make a TV show on Adult Swim. Oh, I can totally see that. I, I can see that. that day. That's what like Expiration Date was supposed to be. Expiration Date was more of the pilot. <laughs> But oh, I see. they never did it because uh, adults, they, they were kind of meanies to Adult Swim or something. Like, there there was a lot of problems with it, I guess. There were, like, runtime problems they couldn't figure out. They couldn't make it work anyway. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah. What, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Um, I, I even, um, I, I'm also supportive of the idea of, I feel as if, um... What was the other game? I was thinking about um, Overwatch. I think that's another universe. Like the characters are so beloved. Um, oh, Rule Thirty Four. I'm not referring to that. Um, what I'm saying is that like the characters of Overwatch are also very likable and are very. That universe is interesting, and it makes me yeah. wonder. Like they have shorts. Why don't they make a movie also? I think there were movie. plans to make an Overwatch movie, but I don't think they ever did it. I mean, yeah. I mean. Uh, uh, there we go. I think the best way, if you're gonna make a video game movie and you want uh -huh. to animate it, no. I have I have imprisoned an innocent being. Let's go. Be free! Oh, it's like help me. <laughs> she looks yes. so sad. All right, let's go. You trapped Tinkerbell in an applesauce star. What the hell is wrong with you? Let's uh, end the video here and fight the boss in the next episode because I am an Bye. asshole and I want to make people wait a full week before they can see me fight it, or two days depending on how I'm feeling. I can't wait. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. It's In reality, it's only going to be like two minutes for you. <laughs> Alright, anyway.